Hi guys. So today I am joined by my husband, Sean, and we are bringing you a bookshelf tour. A fair amount of the things on the bookshelves are his, and I thought it'd be cool for him to get to talk about his own stuff. Came home recently to find some of the manga that had been stored in the closet. By you, to by be me. clear. <laughs> I didn't Brilliantly displayed on the bookshelf, and I thought, oh my goodness. So it will just be fun to take a look at it. Things. I was wanting to reorganize the bookshelves and I definitely wanted to make it sort of a Christmas present in a weird way, a Christmas surprise for him because so many of his mangas were just, he was he was calling it the manga closet because we have a spare closet and he was just putting all his manga in there and I was like, this is sad, you should have some of these out. Here is a full view of our bookshelves. Normally the couch is right there. We've got our little dog bed for when Luna comes home to us, but anyway. This is what they look like. For the most part, I have books that I've read and loved in this middle section because that's the stuff that you all are going to see more often than not. And I like when you guys can see some of my favorites and I feel bad if I have stuff I haven't read just plastered right in front of you because then if you're like, oh, I love that book, I feel awful when I'm like, I haven't actually read it. We're gonna start in the upper left-hand corner and this is kind of a mix of uh, just looking pretty books and sort of kind of fairy tale retellings. So this shelf is entirely manga. We've got some Claymore, which is an awesome series about lady monster hunters, so that's pretty cool. And then we have Blade of the Immortal, the first seven omnibuses or omnibi, whichever it is. We've got Vinland Saga, and I'm missing a couple of those, but that's almost everything that's out right now. It's about Viking, so sticking with the Viking Nordic theme, we've got, well, Viking Warrior. This far shelf over here is supposed to sort of be similar to one over there in that it contains young adult books, and specifically I wanted to keep books by the authors close to each other, so I've got all of the books by Marissa Meyer, I do have two copies of Heartless because I have one with a black cover and one with a white cover. And also, can we just talk about why on earth did they make the special edition white cover, which is beautiful, have a black spine just like the other one? I think that's dumb. But anyway, I have everything by Marissa Meyer over here and Lee Bardugo. So this is kind of one of the heavy hitters of young adult shelves. Just underneath that shelf is primarily some adult fantasy books that I really want to read. So it's sort of an adult fantasy TBR shelf. I would have really liked to have had all of the Jim Butchers together, but the shelves, the individual shelves are not big enough. So I actually have the rest of the Jim Butchers over there. So they kind of are on either side. And then next to them are some other TBR adult fantasy books with Michael J. Sullivan. So that's kind of what those ones are. And then in the middle, We've got Witcher. I have a whole shelf dedicated to Witcher. And next to it, also a middle shelf. I just have mostly some favorites in the adult fantasy sci-fi section. Got my Red Risings, Blood Song, and then I've got a couple of series I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished this series, but I really love the first one. And then I read Queen of the Tearling. I'm hoping to finish that this year also. I enjoyed City of Brass. I like the V.E. Schwab books, and these are the only young adult books on the shelf, but I wanted to keep V.E. Schwab with V.E. Schwab, so those are over here too. So here we have some manga again. We have Golden Kamui. Thank you for people teaching me how to say that. It sounds sarcastic. I was actually thanking you. <laughs> and then three of the Full Metal Alchemist uh, hardcovers are coming out. They're pretty sweet. And then we have a complete set of the three in one. So that's the whole series. And then we've got some, well, volume one of Parasite, which I have not started, but I hear it's pretty good. And then we've got just some colorful dragon books. They're about Temerare, yes? Yes. Yes. And it's a dragon with Napoleon riding it. No, Napoleon <laughs> doesn't ride the dragon. <laughs> So next up, I'm just going to go straight across because these are all of the Sanderson books. I do have multiple editions, feel free to judge. But over here we have the UK editions. I have my Polish editions. No, I don't speak Polish. Yes, I cannot read these books. I don't care. 
because let's take a look at the cover art, shall we? Because it's so freaking awesome, it's so cool. And then over here, I have, okay, I have a reason for why I now own these in both paperback and hardback. And the reason is that I am planning on doing a reread of these and I want, I wanted to have copies that I could mark up. I didn't really want to mark up my expensive hardbacks. Hence these books, which I did manage to find either on sale or with coupons and gift cards. So they didn't really even cost me anything. Then we have what I call old school American editions, which look far better than the modern American editions of Mistborn. And over here we have the 10th anniversary editions, which one of was a gift from my husband for our anniversary. And I think the others were gifts too, or maybe I just splurged and I bought them for myself. I don't know. Moving from that shelf to the far end, these are my favorite, or some of my favorite young adult books. I have only read the first book in this series, but I really enjoyed it a lot, so I'm really excited for the next two. I have read all the Seven Realms series, and I find it quite enjoyable. This is the series that came after. It's not completed yet, so I haven't picked it up yet, but I've heard good things. I've heard it's even better than the originals. Got the Barnabas Trilogy. Anybody who knows about Barnabas Trilogy, I always get excited because it was one of my favorites. It's middle grade, but I still think it has one of the best endings of any series I've ever read, and I really, really like it. Then we've got Long May She Rain, which is a great standalone YA. Ash Princess, I am, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's got a lot of tropes, but I really liked it. I don't even care. I have not read The Talon, but I read Shadow the Fox. It's by the same author, and I loved Shadow the Fox. One of my favorite reads from 2018. And then of course, we've got Skyward. I thought about putting Skyward with the other Sanderson books, but there's not really any room. So next we have some more manga, and also this is just like the science fiction kind of zone. Uh, we have Planetus, and then we've got some Gundam Thunderbolt. I haven't read any of it yet. I hear I'm supposed to read Gundam The Origin first. I've read all of these. I've actually read through nine, ten, but, but I only own the first six there. And then over yonder in the corner, I have 20th Century Boys, and I've read the first one, and it's it's out there. Scythe, I think, is about vampires. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Just kidding. So this is kind of the you don't see these books shelves because they're usually behind the couch. And there is a reason. These are a lot of my unread books. And the way I organize them primarily, if you look in the centers, got a lot of things that have to do with royalty. So that's how I keep track in my head. Got Red Queen, Twelve Kings, Legacy of Kings, Lord of the Rings. There's lots of royalty type things. And then with a few other unread things mixed in on the sides. All right, and this is the Samurai shelf. We have Samurai Executioner. And then we have the beautiful Vagabonds. They make such a pretty picture together. Before I finish up and talk about all of the things on the last shelves, I do want to say we actually have a fair amount of other books, but they have taken the place of Sean's mangas in what was before called the manga closet. So we do have some other stuff. If you've ever heard me talk about a book and you don't see it out, that's probably where it is. Both of the shelves on the edges are basically just pretty books or non-fantasy books. So that's what you'll see over here. Over here, not so much. There's a fair amount of fantasy books mixed in over there also, but they're basically unread. Also, we need to dust our floors. So here we have some more comic booky things. We have Bone by Jeff Smith. Everyone should read Bone. Everyone. And here we have Batman and Wonder Woman novels. Tokyo Ghoul Monster Edition and The Omega Men by Tom King. Fairly certain someday this will get that kind of treatment. So over on this shelf we have Image Stuff and Marvel and Vertigo. So we have Tokyo Ghost. Uh, by Sean Murphy. We've got Nightly News and East of West by Jonathan Hickman. Descender by Jeff Lemire, the first one. It's a great vision. It makes me cry. You should read it. Hawkeye is fantastic. And I have all of Avengers by Jonathan Hickman. You can tell I like Jonathan Hickman. And We Three by Grant Morrison. It's about like dogs and cats. 
Um, I've heard it's sad, so I think I'll read it to Luna, and then I'll cry on her, and she won't understand what's happening. And Sheriff of Babylon, if there's one thing on the shelf that you should read, you should read Sheriff of Babylon. And then the good parts of fables. You can stop after that, and that'll be fine. That is it for the bookshelf tour. We think it's pretty neat. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the charity Save the Children. I always have a link to it in the description bar, and anybody who donates is automatically entered into a giveaway where they can win $20 worth of books. But anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to check out the Patreon page, and we'll see you later.